Are you planning to study in Canada in 2021? In this video, we'll talk about the additional requirements you need if you're gonna study in Canada in 2021. Yes, and we'll also quickly discuss what a quarantine plan is and where you can get a template for it. Exactly. Let's go! Hey everyone, we're Bea and Daniel. We're currently international college students in Toronto, Canada. In this channel, we vlog about our lives in Toronto and sometimes give tips for international students. We've been in Toronto for over a year now and so far it's been amazing and we are loving it. Alright, so in this video, we'll talk about the additional requirements you need if you're gonna study in Canada in 2021. If you wanna know the basic requirements, we already made a video about that. And if you wanna see that video, make sure to click here and you'll be taken to that video. So disclaimer, we actually know someone who just arrived here in Canada from the Philippines. So all the answers and all the information that we'll tell you in this video is from him. And also make sure to do your own research as well before, you know, flying in here. Exactly, and make sure to check the description below and the timestamps as well to save you some time. And before we get into it, make sure to smash the like button and consider subscribing so that you will get more videos like this. And with that said, let's get into the video. Let's go! So before leaving your country, there are three additional things that you need before coming here. So first is um, a, a negative COVID test. Then the second one is a quarantine plan. And the third one is you have to download necessary apps. Yeah, so again, these things that we're about to talk about came from a person that we know who just arrived here as an international student. So this is what he told us. But again, I just want to reiterate, make sure to double check and search for other um, necessary you know, information that you need in terms of these documents. Cool? Okay. So like what Bea said, first you need a negative COVID test. So the, our friend told us that you need this three days prior to your flight. So don't do it before that. Um, do it three days before. So you know, so it's it's accurate whether you're negative or, or not. So make sure to have that. And it's expensive if you take it too early. Yeah. Because you will have to retake it again. Yeah, exactly. So make sure to plan that out. And uh, secondly, you need to download certain apps. So I'll just check my phone right here for these apps. So you need this app called Arrive Can, which you'll basically show when you get here in Canada, you show it to the immigration. You need a COVID tracker app from your country. Uh, in the Philippines, it's called Trace Contact or something. And if your school has an app, like our school, Centennial College, it's called iSent. Make sure to download that app because you'll be booking a COVID swab test when you get here through that app. But again, like what I said, it's gonna depend on your school. Every school has different policies, but that's what Centennial College has. All right, so make sure to research more on your end. All right, next thing that you need is a quarantine plan. So what is this? It's super scary. Not really. So a quarantine plan is basically just a piece of paper that you'll show to the immigration officer that this is your plan, that if you go here in Canada when you arrive, you have 14 days uh, that you have to quarantine in a certain place that you know you chose right so again depending on your school they have a certain template right for our school centennial college it's just there on the website um you just download it and you fill it up so certain items on the quarantine plan are personal information with student number arrival information uh, departure date point of entry in canada how many pieces of luggage you have quarantine information which is basically the address of where you plan on doing your quarantine um, and the type of like quarantine uh, accommodation that you have, you know, whether it's a homestay, it's a hotel, an Airbnb with relatives, etc. It's all there. And again, terms and conditions are there. And yeah, you'll just show this to an immigration officer. So you just fill in the blanks and uh, you'll be fine. So certain things that you have to know about the quarantine location that you're going for is that you should have your own bathroom. You should have your own bedroom. And as much as possible, just stay in your room for the entire 14 days. Um, you know, always wear a mask and don't try to talk with other people. Just like, you know, physical, uh, social distancing at all times, right? Um, because again, you're in quarantine. And if you're going to be staying with someone else, 
you don't want that person to be in contact with you because you could jeopardize that person's you know livelihood because if you get in contact with them they might have to quarantine as well so just just avoid them as much as possible all right so where can you actually find a place to quarantine yourself for 14 days so our friend the guy who went here he said he searched facebook for it right so he searched toronto filipino apartments and he just posted there like hey guys i'm, I'm, I'm coming to canada soon but i need to, a place to quarantine i don't know anyone here um you want to take me in and you know people will respond and then um you'll basically talk about you know how much it will be our friend paid uh, 400 dollars for 14 days and regarding your food um again you could have that pre-arranged you know if you have a host just say hey i'll add an extra hundred dollars just feed me for 14 days or something and just you know have it delivered to my room or whichever um again it, it all depends on what kind of place you're staying at and you know what kind of uh, agreement you have with whoever whoever's place it is you're staying at right so again make sure you have these things before you leave the country so that you won't have any problems with immigration when you get here and once you're in canada once you are you get past immigration you're at the airport already again depending on your school there should be like an airport limo on an, or an airport transfer which would get you from the airport to the place that you're planning to quarantine in right so our friend uh, he's from toronto he went to pearson airport and before that he already had pre-arrangements with the school and the school actually pays for the transport right so it's free if it's within the gta area the greater toronto area right if it's you know outside of that then he would have to pay right so again with this you have to you know ask your school if they have arrangements with this uh airport transportations because if they're a di dly designated learning institute they should already have these things in place because you know covid basically affected everyone's lives right and these institutions have to take care of us have to take care of you know everyone else in the community right so that's that make sure to check if they have connections with the airport and you know you can get to your place for free and then 10 to 12 days after your quarantine roughly in that time frame you're gonna need another swab test but this time from a designated nurse here in uh, here in Canada or wherever you're staying right so the way this works again talking from a friend here he downloaded the Centennial College app, which is iSent. And then Centennial College is so good at taking care of its students that there's already a prompt there that, okay, this is your schedule, 10 to 12 days. Do you want the nurse to go to your house to actually do the swab test for you, right? So you just book that in the app and then whatever uh, date you, s you set, the nurse is gonna be in your house. Just like that and it's free, y'all. It's free, again. Centennial College, man. Good job. But again, depending on your school, I don't know um, the arrangement, but always check your school website. Always uh, speak with the the people in charge of international students because they will take care of you, right? So that's that. that that's all you need. And then after that, after the quarantine, go to wherever you're staying for, you know, the semester or whichever, and you're free, basically. So that's it. So these are some of the additional requirements that you need to study here in Canada in 2021. Yeah, again, disclaimer, guys, this, these answers, this, this information came from a friend of ours who just got here. But again, it depends on your school, depending on your country, make sure to do your research as well, right? Because this is just for the info we have now, it's probably for Toronto or for people from Centennial College, but do your research, guys. Research, research research for sure <laughs> all right and again if this video gave you any value make sure to smash the like button so that you let us know if you want more videos like this one and consider subscribing as well and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads on the following weeks exactly all right and before we end this video we just want to say we just reached 200 subscribers 220 i don't know yes. I, it seems like we just reached 100 you guys are amazing thank you thank you so much and thank you, guys. you know i just wanna we just want to shout out our new friends in the community who always engage and comment on our videos so shout out to stephanie yao tan kl lost star seven jin majorie matos boom boom <laughs> charlemagne pardo 
Diego Mariano, Elaine Camaso, Judy Lynn Amok, Dolly LP, and Chai Bermudez. What's up, everyone? Thanks. On Instagram, shout out to Raymond Piedena, Mal Lopez, Richelle Clemente, Camille Viterbo, K Abroad, Shane Ralios, Nikki Madel, Clarice, Carlos Rosales, Sab and Roll, Marquis Lane, Jay Perlas, and Jessica Q. Sorry if we butchered your name, guys, <laughs> yeah. but we love you all. Thank you so much for you know supporting us. Thank you. And uh, it means a lot. And yes. um, if you want to be shouted out in the next videos, that's gonna be like when we reach 500 <laughs> subscribers. Yes. We're going for 500, y'all. Yeah, let's go. We're just so happy we did 200 subscribers. I know. Thank like, you, guys. We were happy with 20 people. <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy. Imagine like a room with 200 people. That's a lot. So mm -hmm. thanks again. Um, again, if you want us to cover any topics in our next videos, just comment below. And you know, if you have ser sort of private questions, we're super active on Instagram DMs. We're just not active on posting on the feed because I don't know. We don't like taking pictures, but we will soon. And we're just here at home because yeah, of man. the lockdown. So. But we we will be active there. But our, our DMs are very active, so just send us messages. And yeah, again, make sure to smash the like button, consider subscribing, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Until then, we'll see you on the next. Peace. Bye-bye.